bright future for independent films excuse me because of the success of the sound of freedom oh yeah yeah it's huge that's huge and of course the passion of the christ paved the way so absolutely i think so because they're good films that's the thing if you go see sound of freedom you're going to be you're going to be astonished at how good the filmmaking was and to think hollywood sat on that for five years remember that when you see it hollywood sat on that amazingly that incredibly high quality film i mean the acting is uh, top notch uh the cinematography is amazing the, the the soundtrack is riveting it's very, very powerful acting is i mean it's just a good film great film perfect perfect length of time great pace great script you name it it was a good film and hollywood sat on it for five years because you know they tried to epstein it or the, try to take it out um so sad so uh i think definitely uh they showed the way to do it and we at now have a business model to do it so you're gonna have to find somebody to put the money up like they did and um uh but if you and then they had an amazing marketing campaign uh and uh, the interviews that they were doing and the audience that they were doing it for and so forth perfect fit it was excellent so yes i think we have now a uh para an official parallel hollywood um uh, that um i mean mark Wahlberg is is in vegas right now uh he relocated to vegas and he said he wants to turn vegas into the new look more like patriot hollywood um and so it'll be really fascinating to see hollywood's imploding as we speak you know their ticket sales are half of what they were two years ago they've lost 50 percent of revenue uh, the you know Disney's last eight films combined lost nine hundred million dollars. I mean Hollywood's imploding right now. The the uh, both the actor strike and the uh, writer strike. I mean, th yeah, this is the time for uh, a patriot cinema to rise up, a parallel cinema to rise up. No question. While we know constitutional carry is sweeping the nation, millions of Americans and even you courageous patriots out there, you turly talkers, you're still stuck in blue or weak red states restricting your constitutional right to bear arms. Well, don't worry, gang. Countrywide concealed is probably the quickest way to get carrying legally in the majority of the United States. That's right. You won't just be able to carry in your state but in 84% of the whole of the U.S. of A. It's as quick as watching a video and taking a quiz, and thanks to Countrywide Concealed, your family is that much safer from a myriad of threats no matter where you go. Getting a concealed carry license has literally never been easier, so just click on that link below and join the millions of patriots who've taken back their rights and started carrying legally with Countrywide Concealed today. I love this comment from Carrie. She says, Sound of Freedom came out when God wanted it out. Five years ago, we weren't ready for the message. This was the time. That was good. <laughs> that, <laughs> absolutely. Five years ago, Epstein was still doing his thing. Weinstein was doing his thing. I mean, we weren't ready. We, yeah, Trump was in office. I think we, we, were, we were lulled into a certain level of complacency. We, I, I couldn't agree more. That it's is so cool. Yeah, it's hard to admit it on some level, but I'm grateful that it worked out in the way that it did where Biden did get into office because we would not have recognized the deep, deep, deep problems. Yeah. In our government. Yeah. No, <laughs> absolutely. No, I mean, it's working out. I mean, patriots are, are rising up like never before. The parallel. Like, I was just talking to a British uh, podcaster today who was interviewing me and um, Peter and, uh, and, you know, he's just, is like, yeah, I mean, this, this parallel economy, even in Britain, it's amazing. I mean, uh, you know, people are, are stepping up and, and, uh, I mean, Elon just changed the whole possibility of even imagining what a parallel economy was when we stole Twitter from them. I mean, I just think that was, a, that's when people recognize, and now with Tucker, with with a parallel news media. I mean, now they re really recognize. Actually, ironically, Fox has been holding us back. Um, we 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 can be so much more than than they are. So it's it's very exciting. Anything you want to touch on real quick before we um, 
finish out tonight. Well, yeah. So, I mean, keep an eye on that. We should know when the uh, the trial is coming up. Uh, Trump is is uh, he is filing for a continuance um, to to push his his criminal federal trial past uh, the election, which makes sense because, as I understand, the average criminal trial, a uh, federal criminal trial, is eighteen to twenty four months before it's before it's uh it actually uh, goes goes to court and that's for for the again it's for the defense you're you're you are uh you are presumed innocent till proven guilty and you're given every chance to be able to uh to defend yourself so even cnn was admitting that um that the the t- the tentative date for august that they set up nobody took that date seriously that was just a that was just a, whatever this guy's name jack smith's attempt to try to you know, uh, grand, uh, just his attempt at grandiosity in, in all of this, uh, that the Justice Department's fast tracking this and Trump's lawyers are all, they don't know what they're doing. So they want to delay until after the election. Uh, of course, the legacy media is pushing the narrative that obviously Trump is guilty, right, for doing this. It's just so pathetic. It's so predictable. Uh, but uh, no, the, the Trump's lawyers are saying there's all kinds of constitutional questions. We've never seen this situation before. Trump's lawyers are asking for a continuance. A delay and we should know in the next 10 days or so but a lot of experts are saying it's probably going to be the summer 2025 um it's most likely the case that this uh, the, the trial is not going to be happening before the election if trump wins of course he just pardons himself uh, uh you know uh constitutional experts have all expressed it but the president can pardon anyone he wants including himself so he'll just this will be done in a heartbeat plus all the j6 defendants will be released finally so anyway so i just yes i we should probably mention that so just keep an eye out on that over the next 10 days uh this judge who's a trump appointed judge she she should render a decision there but other than that no i mean we're rocking and rolling it's amazing stuff that's happening um I just did a, a video on how the culture wars really do seem to be moving now in our direction with Sound of Freedom doing so well, with Disney uh, imploding, with you know one of the number one songs, uh, the number one songs uh, on iTunes a few weeks back on a, a, a titled "Target um, Boycott Target." Um, you've got uh, you've got Muslim uh, parents rising up against these Democrat school boards. Remember Muslim parents. Uh, vote overwhelmingly Democrat, and they're pushing back against woke school boards like never before. I mean, they're they're falling apart, gang. They're falling apart. They're never going to let on to it, but we could see them cracking in all kinds of places. And uh, so it's hard. It's tough. It's it's difficult. But in the end, there's no way around it. Ninety percent of the world wants nothing to do with the woke West. And um, and now it's just our turn now to get rid of the woke West and uh, and and put uh, good, strong faith, family and freedom, patriot governments all over. I mean, keep an eye on uh, the Vox Party in Spain. I believe it's this Sunday is their special election, their national election because their government collapsed, as did uh, the Dutch government. And um, the Vox Party is positioning itself that they're the they're the patriot party there in spain they weren't even on the map three years ago they weren't even breaking one percent support like say three four years ago now they are poised together with their center-right podemos party to turn spain which didn't even have a nationalist party five years ago to turn spain into a nationalist populist government so amazing stuff happening all over the place 